वेलकम टू ऑल द केमिस्ट्री साइंस ऑफ केमिकल्स सिस्टमेटिक स्टडी ऑफ केमिकल्स सिस्टमेटिक स्टडी ऑफ केमिकल्स साइंस इट सेल्फ इज द सिस्टमेटिक स्टडी ऑफ नॉलेज इन दैट particular concern <coughs> the chemistry is one of the branch where is the engineering chemistry relates with the engineering materials and their chemistry so here <coughs> the base of any of the chemistry is the atom the smallest particle of uh, an element is the atom so how this atom was discovered and what are those the properties the characteristics properties and their relevant structure so today we discuss about how we get the structure of uh, atom with various inventions then we have the electrons the protons and neutron so the development during the last century this is the most one is the 20th century and starting from the 20th century we get more and relevant information the particles present in an atom very uh, when we have to cut down any of the material then uh, lastly if uh, that will be cut down more and more related with the the diameter related with the particle size so we have to know the length the measurement of the diameter of any of the particle various units are there and particular specific unit is the meter so meter further in uh, shorter uh, uh, shorter unit and that is 1 upon 10 1 upon 100 1 upon 1000 1 upon 10000 and 1 upon up the <coughs> million so similar to that we get the uh, Uh, further uh, units and those units are millimeter uh, then we have the micrometer then the nanometer and further more relevant itself is the angstrom so the size of uh, a particle size of uh, uh, the particle can be given that depends on the size itself so so the units are there so unit whether we can take the angstrom unit whether then further may be after very little there may be that 10 days to power minus 12 that is the picometer then the 10 days to power minus 15 so 10 days to power minus 3 meter month 10 days to power minus 6 meter so why we are mentioning here the units of uh, these because the particle size are very minute micrometer 10 days to power minus 10 meter 10 days to power minus 9 the nanometers nano particles so the size of the nano particle itself is 10 days to power minus 9 in case of the atomic size and that is further uh, in angstrom so angstrom itself is 10 days to power minus 10 meter so nanometer 10 days to power minus 9 and how uh, 10 days to power minus 9 meter 10 days to power minus 10 so here the particle size itself is uh, uh, up to 10 days to power minus 10 that is in angstrom level so the size of atom the size whatever the atomic size whatever the then for the the radius of uh, that atom is sphere 
so the diameter and then the radius diameter hole so hole diameter will be there and there may be the radius atomic radius and atomic diameter atomic size or overall so overall is the size atom size so here the unit concerned is the in another strong so let's we have to see how the development occurred the what about the roles of different scientists and who have given the great concern regarding the uh, <clears throat> regarding the atomic structure so we have to see <coughs> the basic part of the chemistry itself is the atom and uh, the size can be correlated so here let's uh, we start the development how atomic structures were developed and this is taken in in this presentation uh, in this lecture uh, <clears throat> various models and theories are given uh, regarding the atomic structure uh, so the theories of atomic models are given model that can be relevant or to book the shape if suppose we have to give the model of the aircraft if we have to give a, the model of the ship so the model uh, structure so how uh, we can get the model regarding the <clears throat> so earlier uh, theories uh, uh, give, uh, of, of atomic models are given the J. J. Thompson so regarding uh, uh, before J. J. Thompson, the John Dalton has given the development of the atomic model. So matter, <coughs> we have to see uh, the uh, uh, substance or matter. What are those matters? Then we have to see the mixtures. Then the compounds various two or more compounds combined with the mixture or any of the substance so here this is the matter the copper is the matter we get the food uh, food is the also the matter so any of that building materials cement matter so iron rod is the matter so matter is made up of the individual atoms this was given by the john dalton and all atoms of a given elements this concern whatever we have to come the matter to substance the material and compound and then element so all atoms of a given elements are identical identical in shape however we have we can say the identical uh, there is no conflict in this uh, in the identity we can say that this one uh, for example suppose we can say uh, <coughs> sugar particles so whatever that so there are uh, in this the same identity identical in their physical and chemical what what you can mention is the physical properties physical properties various for example, the density. There are other physical properties are also there. So the size, the density. So <clears throat> physical properties and, and chemical properties, those are identical. So we can take other one atom from here, one atom in the same physical behavior, physical property. Means the size of atom, the density of this atom, this atom in an element is the same not different whether uh, uh, if suppose we have to uh, give uh, we take the example of human being here uh, <clears throat> the human beings behavior is different but uh, human shape uh, show, uh, the face is also differs so by which we can identify that particular person is this and this but here no identity so here different uh, uh, differs uh, different elements have the same physical as well as the chemical properties. Atoms of different elements combine in a simple whole number ratio to form 
molecule so molecule and atom both are different molecule concerned with the compound whereas the <clears throat> atom concerned with the element so smallest particle of element is atom and smallest particle uh, of compound is the molecule so here uh, different elements combined in a simple whole number 50 50 whole number 50 compound with 50 for example in case of the water two hydrogen and one oxygen so 50 uh, of a hydrogen atom combined with 25 uh, oxygen atom and they gives 25 molecule so the here whole number is given ratio will be 2 is to 1 hydrogen 2 and oxygen 1 then we get the h2o water molecule so chemical reaction consists of the combination of separation or rearrangement of the atom so here because of the <clears throat> chemical reaction there may be uh, if suppose we have to see electrolysis of water then h positive and oh negative so so uh, and whatever they react with the hydrogen cation can react with the other so here the question is there their chemical reaction consists of the combination or separation of the rearrangement rearrangement of that particular atom for example hcl hydrochloric acid takes with sodium hydroxide so there will be the chemical reaction combination combination separation or rearrangement so nacl and water is formed by NaOH and hcl so this one uh, given by uh, the, the great scientist and Don Dontrell has proposed one of the theory of atomic structure later on the development of the Rutherford in that particular case Rutherford's gold foil experiment uh, this setup is uh, explained in this particular case a thin foil metal is placed in a path of the beam and the image become diffuse this deduced with the secret of particles. So earlier, Rutherford, there was that uh, the very uh, the only particle of uh, atom, uh, only particle, uh, the final particle of element is only atom. That further cannot be uh, um, um, cannot be uh, uh, divided. So undivided, uh, undivided uh, particle in element is the atom. But here, Rutherford will do the gold foil experiment and that gives a further more, uh, uh, further theories of the atomic structure, atomic model. And here uh, we can see the uh, gold foil. So uh, this gold foil metal is placed in a beam, beam. The image become diffuse. So why diffuse? If suppose the foil and the image of beam will be diffused. So this is due to scattering of particle by the atom of the foil. So what happened? Scattered. So why scattering? So the particle is scattered in various directions also and counted by scintillation counter. So how we can, they, they, these are the counters. So what are these? What about these? So Rutherford gives the experiment and uh, uh, it was found that although most of the particle is scattered through angles of order of uh, one degree or less, but a small number say about one in every 10,000 is scattered through 90 degree over or uh, over uh, even 100. This experiment is known the other as alpha particle scattering expert. So alpha particles scattered in this particular model. Now the JJ Thompson letter on 1900 uh, given the model and that is a, like a pudding, pudding model. So pudding model itself mean uh, in a ball, okay, certain uh, specific okay in a ball certain specific space whatever we can say uh, you can see the picture certain specific uh, 
so this hole is the ball like a sphere yeah, that is the sphere the ball where uh, the uh, particles uh, very small particles are there those are also spherical so uh, in a pudding uh, or whatever we can say in uh, ice cream uh, choco chips uh, chocolate choco chips are there and we get uh, that particular chips and uh, that is identity is there of uh, in ice cream choco chips are there so that is the ice uh, so when we take the ice cream and there is the choco chips are there those so certain space the chip is there after when we are taking the ice cream so similar to that this model uh, is called the pudding model so here uh, we can say uh, plum pudding model and this was given in 1904 so here one most whatever the experiment related with the uh, uh, they are uh, scattering of uh, uh, so, so 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 something the particles may be there because the uh, the gold coil uh, that the scattering because of the beam here uh, in 1904, the John model, and this was proposed that negative particles are every evenly scattered throughout an atom. Means here negative particles, whatever the given by the uh, Rutherford, that the particles are scattered. So, in case of the Rutherford, the, that was the gold foil experiment, where some particles are scattered so here in plum pudding model negative particles are evenly scattered throughout an atom with a positive charge mass of the matter here the question is there the mass of matter uh, whatever uh, the matter concerned here the mass of the atom so positively charged particles are there and holy mass of those particles are in only because of the positive particles so there is uh, the positive and negative so positive particles whole mass and the weight of negative particles are very little or they can be negligible uh, later on uh, after we can say the uh, in uh, a later lecture i will say that uh, uh, the mass of proton and mass of electron so how uh, proton and electrons are uh, in invented so during that the, so in in that particular case the proton and neutron uh, and electron the weight of proton and weight of uh, the mass of proton and mass of electron that can be compared with uh, about 1800 times so if suppose about 1800 electrons uh, uh, in a mass can it gives a, a one uh, proton the mass of one proton is equal to about 1800 electrons so therefore when we covering the mass of uh, atom so that is mainly because of the positive charge particles and those are present in a nucleus so that will be shown later on but here the question is there so negatively charged and positively charged mass of the matter so here throughout so what happened in a whole ball there is the positive and negative similar to that whatever i have given the chocolate chip ice cream letter provide to be incorrect but this because they have uh, that was the letter uh, uh, modern theory uh, modern atomic uh, then given by different scientists so uh, uh, here uh, whatever the letter the present uh, atomic structure is there the uh, nucleus and nucleus contains the proton and neutron and surrounding that is the uh, hole uh, are the electrons so that will be in last slide like you can see so this is the development of atomic structure so their letter proved it to be incorrect this plum pudding uh, it could not explain the result of scattering experiment explained by the 
Rutherford experiment. So it did not have any experimental issue in this support. So the thermoionic emission, whatever those uh, further uh, cannot be explained, thermoionic emission and photoelectric emission and ionization uh, were explained on this basis. Thermal ionic emission, one thing most one is the photoelectric effect, photoelectric emission and the ionization explained on this basis. Later on, the final answer, uh, we can say the atomic structure is like that. So with the development of uh, a number of uh, scientists, number of uh, great uh, inventors, uh, I have given the number of uh, the starting from the John Dance, uh, John Dalton, and uh, then uh, Rutherford's expert experiment, and uh, further the model given by the J.J. Thompson, and further the Niels Bohr uh, also explained the uh, stru atomic structure, and that was relevant with the hydrogen atom that is not included here so in case of the Bohr model of uh, so uh, Neil Bohr also explained number of uh, uh, particular things regarding the spectrum of hydrogen atom so the in those particular case electrons are absorbed or emitted so uh, absorption uh, uh, um, the energy is absorbed and our energy is uh, emitted and during that the uh, spectrum is formed. All of you are well known about the spectrum of uh, uh, the Vibjor, that is the visible light. So seven colors are obtained after that. So uh, this one is like a spectrum, but here the whole of the electromagnetic radiations is concerned. So after Niel Bohr and then James Chadwick invented the atomic uh, neutrons. So here, uh, the last answer, uh, after that, so many theories are also, uh, principles and theories are also given. The Hagenberg's uncertainty principle regarding the electron position. So position and velocity. So here, this can be correlates uh, with the particular uh, experiments and we can get the final answer regarding the atomic structure. So atomic structure and uh, here uh, in an atom, the nucleus is there and uh, surrounding the electrons are there. So finally, we can say that uh, various uh, technologies in the present context, the nuclear uh, reactors, the nuclear warfare, uh, so how such large energy is generated uh, during the various reactions uh, of uh, nuclear reaction. So uh, we can say, uh, we, later on we can also uh, about that will be in next, uh, next lecture and that will be the periodic table. So periodic table itself uh, and their uh, arrangement periodicity in properties and periodicity in their the atomic number so how uh, electrons uh, gives the one of the most concern the arrangement of the periodic table also atomic number then atomic mass atomic weight so uh, how we have to see that further uh, the atoms can be uh, have uh, also the three sub particles so what are those particular particles the electron proton and neutron so here i can mention and the uh, is uh, earlier was uh, in uh, 19th and uh, 18th century only that there was the only regarding the atom but after 1901 the rutherford's uh, uh, experiments the uh, the electrons are there in an atom and further 
uh, explain that protons are there whatever we have discussed about earlier that positively charged uh, particles present in uh, in an atom uh, and what positively charged particles uh, uh, the area the mass is also differ whatever we have discussed earlier so proton neutron and electron proton one thing neutron and electrons these three particles are there uh, we can take uh, one of the example of our solar system so in case of the solar system all of you are well known about that uh, the solar system uh, where the sun is there okay so sun itself uh, uh, sun and uh, around uh, uh, the various uh, uh, planets various planets uh, around sun uh, moves uh, and their orbits moves in their respective orbits all of you know about that the solar system consists mainly of the nine planets so what are those nine planets so nine orbits are there around the sun so our earth movement earth uh, is also uh, 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 um, uh, moves uh, over uh, the sun and in the earth special orbit and that particular earth special orbit uh, we can explain that uh, uh, that is like that here in case of the atomic structure in case of uh, uh, atom structure the finally we can say uh, that uh, uh, this is like a solar system so uh, similar to the solar system uh, here also uh, the centrally placed is the nucleus so that is centrally placed nucleus is similar to the sun and uh, uh, sun have different planets so here different electrons moves and their circular path like a path uh, whatever there may be the circular and there may be uh, later on we will discuss about that in the quantum number and then uh, the uh, different atomic structure so here uh, similar to there the electrons uh, continuously moves one question is there all of you know about uh, the earth moves uh, continuously around the sun and various celestial activities occurs whatever the uh, moon eclipse whatever the uh, so sun eclipse so all those are the particular the shielding one way so how they shields so this is like that so here in an atom like a solar system where centrally situated is the nucleus and nucleus contains the proton and neutron so proton and neutron having the mass major thing uh, the mass of atom that is uh, called the mass number also uh, whatever the number includes the number of protons and number of neutrons so here atomic mass that is uh, uh, wholly uh, in nucleus whole uh, wholly in the nucleus part but uh, uh, what about the electrons what about the charge uh, on the atom because various experiments uh, and uh, one more thing is there the nuclear reactions the atomic bomb what over in 1945 uh, uh, two strong atom bombs were uh, on hiroshima and nagasaki so how such amount of energy is generated so this concerned with the nuclear nucleus so centrally placed nucleus nuclear reactions how the nuclear reactions occurs in case of the uranium the 
92 protons and uh, up to 232 then they start the neutron proton and neutron collectively so mass of uh, an atom that can be centralized in the nucleus and nucleus contains the proton and neutron proton having the charge proton having the charge and what about that particular charge is positive charge there is the magnitude also so value and, uh, and that is in uh, whatever the in the coulomb so so the charge on proton but whole uh, uh, atom is in, in nuclear uh, uh, in neutral so the we have to see the final structure of an atom like a solar system the sun the third orbit of solar system is the earth our planet and here the planet the earth moves like that and uh, day and night of earth is because of the whatever we can say day and night uh, we can say uh, that is uh, of um, uh, say because of the rotation so electrons are also like that and they move in their specific orbit in case of our, uh, the hydrogen atom only one electron is there so one electron moves in a orbit like their spinning spin 24 hours for uh, we have the uh, the earth earth having the 24 hours so 24 hours spinning of the earth whatever the shape of earth is, uh, we have to see the north and south pole so like that electrons are also move around the whole atom circulate continuously uh, whatever the position and whatever the velocity uh, different uh, forces, uh, uh, different forces, and uh, can say uh, uh, different forces are what the centrifugal. So many uh, forces, uh, and uh, Earth uh, is also so three sixty-five and one fourth days. The Earth, the orbit itself covers the orbit of the Sun. Uh, uh, of a specific section. So, Earth itself is present in third orbit. Mercury, the first orbit, the Venus, second orbit, and the third orbit is the, by the Earth. Continuously movement. So, that is the solar system. So, here also we can say nucleus in which protons and neutrons are present and around that continuously electrons are moving in their specific orbit we have earlier uh, discussed about the solar system so here earth and venus both have a booth uh, revolves around the earth continuously no breakdown break up so that's why we get the whole of the year. How many days are there in one year? All of you are well known about that. The days are 365 and 104. All of you also know about the leap year. So leap year, uh, because of the 14 into 14, then uh, within, uh, so after four years, one day increase. So that's why we have. So here the specific, these are the celestial uh, uh, celestial activities. So uh, we can say atom is also the part of the celestial. So we can say uh, whatever the answer, the final answer for the atom, various protons and neutrons 
which are present in an atom and uh, uh, outer uh, the then electrons continuously moves their specific velocity specific their speed in very specific area so here later on we will discuss about that uh, the electro the atomic orbitals orbits then we have to atomic orbitals so atomic orbitals i have uh, discussed about that uh, the um, we have the spinning of earth so uh, there uh, whatever that will be taken in the quantum numbers so quantum numbers in which one quantum number quantum number that will be say uh, regarding the spinning spin quantum number so we have to come towards the earth the sun uh mercury the venus second orbit the third orbit is by the uh, our planet the earth so the question is there similar to that here electrons moves around nucleus nucleus like a sun and electrons moves continuously earth moves continuously without stop if suppose earth stops so so similar to that whatever those experiments related with the uh, various uh, scientists rather code than james said we can when given the answer the one uh, particle neutral particle that is the neutron so uh, we can say um, this one and uh, uh, like that so here uh, we can say atom consists of the positively charged nucleus why the positive charge on the nucleus whatever earlier uh, various atomic uh, theories explain and negatively charged electron revolving around it why here uh, giving that uh, uh, a nucleus having only positive charge however the similar uh, mass particles neutrons are also present so in a nucleus in a nucleus of an atom those uh, that is uh, present in centrally and uh, uh, around that nucleus continuously electrons uh, continuously moves in their specific orbits so specific orbit whatever the orbit 1 orbit 2 orbit 3 later on these will be explained in the form of the quantum numbers and those are related with the shell number shell itself the principal quantum then the subcell and there then the atomic orbitals and in each atomic orbital only two electron can occupy and those movement those spin spinning of those electrons are also so one of the electron moves like a clockwise whatever the clockwise and another the second electrons the spin quantum number is spinning anti clockwise so all of you are well known about the solar system where continuously earth moves around there so here what will be the distance between the nucleus and and electron what will be the total mass of an atom mass of an atom different atom different elements and their respective atoms nitrogen the element then seven proton and seven neutrons are there so 14 uh, uh, 14 particles are present in nitrogen in a nucleus and uh, seven are the electrons so seven electron in nitrogen seven proton in nitrogen and seven neutron so seven plus seven the 14 one four 14 is the mass number of nitrogen and they those are uh, the 14 particles the 14 particles seven are the proton and seven are the neutron 
and uh, seven neutron and seven proton the centrally placed so uh, those are in the nucleus seven proton seven neutron seven electron in nitrogen atom so in nitrogen atom centrally placed the nucleus where the atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 seven proton seven now the mass of electron is very little but we can say the distance from the uh, nucleus to the orbit this distance is much more far why distance is uh, we can say that uh, 10 raised to power minus 15 meter this is the size of an atom a size of nucleus but what about the total the overall size of atom is 10 raised to power minus 10 uh, around the uh, angstrom so that may be one angstrom 1.5 angstrom that is the size of the atom so whole uh, concern and then this can be uh, correlated uh, like uh, uh, football ground in case of the football ground if centrally uh, center place is the football and hole is the uh, football ground so 10 raised to power minus 10 and 10 raised to power minus 15 so much large distance from the so what about the whole space that is the spatial arrangement of whole uh, so the atom may me say that this is uh, all is empty but not empty this they are continuously electrons moves and moves in their different orbits so john uh, whatever the niels bohr given gave the spectrum of hydrogen atom various uh, electrons may be present in different their orbits and where the electron uh, uh, get uh, the spectrum because of the elect uh, the atom we get the spectrum so atom consists of the positively charged nucleus at the central center and negatively charged electrons revolving around it the radius of an atom is uh, 10 raised to power minus 10 meter and here the radius this can be uh, we can use the angstrom so 10 raised to power minus 10 this is equal to one angstrom whatever different are the nanometer the micrometer but here we can uh, more little and that is the angstrom the radius of the nucleus is 10 raised to power minus 15 the nucleus consists of the proton and neutron together called these nucleons 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 are the proton and and uh, neutrons so most of the mass of an atom is possessed by the nucleus so, so one more thing is there the whole mass is only with little one little one and uh, little space can give uh, which one is the little very little space very little it's compared to whole of atom but how we can say uh, that uh, uh, that part uh, is weight uh, the centrally placed nucleus having the weight one most weight so most weight is uh, the um, um, most weight is present in centrally and around that whole uh, whatever that uh, the difference of 10 raised to power 15 uh, five times that is the whole of the electron so what about the space from nucleus to the orbit, outermost orbit? So later on we will discuss around this, how electrons are there, how many number of electrons. So that will be in next uh, concern. So now we have, uh, we have discussed all of those things and uh, we finally get uh, that uh, uh, information relevant to this. So this is the, uh, this one is uh, concerned with the uh, two of uh, um, proton and two of neutron and uh, two of electron. This is uh, related with the helium. So helium element 
helium itself is the inert gas so helium is contains two of proton two of neutrons and two of electron now the finally answer this can be representation of an atom so how we can represent the mass number this is the element symbol and uh, atomic number atomic number is equal to the number of proton and number of protons because of the positively charged particle so overall the element itself is the neutral so positively charged particles and negatively charged particles so this is one of the example uranium which is one of the most concerned in nuclear system nuclear energy so here uranium uh, we can explain so atomic number is 92 number of proton 92 and uh, z can be represented uh, the uh, atomic number this is also um, the number of proton so number of proton 92 number of uh, neutrons 235 is the mass number so uh, these are the nuclear uh, the atom atom can be represented by this way for example if suppose we have to talk about the nitrogen nitrogen having the mass number is 14 and in which the seven are the proton and seven are the neutron and seven are the electrons so here we have no representation by for the electrons because uh, uranium uh, because we have to already discuss about the whole mass is concerned uh, whole mass is in nucleus and uh, so nucleus contain the nucleons nucleons are the proton and neutron and then so the electrons are very light their weight is also very con so regarding when we are giving uh, the weight concern if suppose there are the cation or anion so cation and anions, uh, for example, if suppose we have to take the sodium. So sodium itself, electrons are 11 and protons are the 11. But when electron is uh, removed from the sodium, so that become the cation, sodium cation. So sodium cation have only how many electrons? 10 electrons. But the weight the uh, mass number of sodium is 23 why 23 11 are the proton and 12 are the neutron so 11 plus 12 23 mass number is there so in case of the sodium cation one electron removed this then only 10 electrons are there so weight uh, uh, is negligible when whole weight of the atom is taken so here this is the representation of this. Now, after this, we have some of the multiple choice questions. Which of the following is the positive charge? Whatever we have already discussed. The proton, the neutron, anion, electron, atom. Proton being the positive charge. Neutrons are neutral. Anions have also negative charge. Uh, uh, not negative charge so negative charge here uh, the question is only of the physics electron having negative charge and atom are the neutral rutherford carried out experiment in which a beam of alpha particle was directed at a thin piece of the metal voice from these experiment he concluded the answer itself is the c where the positively charged parts of atoms are extremely small and extremely heavy particle so this is the answer where the nucleus having the heaviness as compared to the whole of atom whatever the rest are not the answer but you can say uh, consider this one uh, one of the species having uh, this zinc and arsenic and germanium here the same number of neutron <laughs> zinc so zinc arsenic and germanium that will be the if we can calculate 
the answer will be the neutral atom of all of the isotopes in this so all about this so overall we can conclude that atom itself uh, consists of the nucleus and outer area the space where orbit is there and this is so okay so we can conclude this lecture Okay, all the best.